how to use Alchitek Windows Boot. First, we need to know what is Microsoft Windows Boot. If we look here, this is Windows 10 22H2 ISO. If we print this image on a USB flash drive and boot from this USB flash drive, we will see this interface. This is Microsoft Windows Boot. Now we know what it is, so let's move to the next step. The next step is what is an Tech Windows Boot. Anctic Windows Boot comes in a package like this. If I extract this package, I will get three ISO files and a folder. And now I don't need this package anymore. If I burn this ISO on a USB flash drive and boot from this flash drive, I will get in the following interface. This is the interface of Anctic Windows Boot. So, to be clear, what is the difference? Now, this is Microsoft Windows Boot and this is Anctic Windows Boot. I think the difference is so clear. So, we can say Anctic Windows Boot is an alternative to Microsoft Windows Boot. How it has been created. To make this simple, this is just how MPE created using Win 10 XPE and modified to work as a Windows boot, programs added, registries modified, drivers added, and many other changes. What makes it unique? We don't need this anymore. Anctic Windows boot supports all languages, has the biggest number of programs. If you go down below, you will find the start menu based on all programs and you can access all programs in it. Now, it has a lot of programs. Number two, the programs are integrated in the system. So you see, fast copy, WinRAR, open with Notepad, 7-Zip, and Unlocker. So the programs are integrated in the system. Now, it also has drivers added to it to support lots of hardware. So you got everything you need before you install the windows you are planning to install. If you open this PC, you can access all your files and everything you have. Now we need to know how to use it and replace the Microsoft Windows Boot. I have here a Windows 10 22H2 ISO file. Now I will extract this using 7-Zip. This will extract the files into a folder. Now, I will get inside this folder, I have the ISO files. How to use Anctic Windows Boot. You have two methods. Number one, copy the boot.wim and set up the .exe to the Windows ISO files. And method number two is copy the Windows install.wim or install.escd to the Anctic Windows Boot files. Now we will try the two methods and show you the difference. Now we will try the first method, copy the, copy the boot to WIM and set up the TXE from the Anctic Windows Boot to the Windows ISO files. So I will extract Anctic Windows Boot to that extracted the files into a folder. Now the method says copy boot.wim and set up the TXE. I will go here, sources, here are the files that I need. I will copy, then I will go back from Anctic Windows Boot to Windows ISO files. I will go onto Windows ISO files, sources, I will click here, paste, yes to all. I will go back. Now I need to convert this folder into an ISO file once more. I will use one of the programs that is provided, which is WinToolkit. I will go to ISO Maker for folder. I will press on Browse. Now I will insert the folder of the Windows 10 files. Then I will choose the ISO output. I will call it Windows 10 and take boot method one. Save. Now you can write here whatever you want. Let's for testing, write Windows 10 and boot. And I will show you how this name appears. Now create ISO and it will be created. Press OK. Now we got our ISO, which is Windows 10 and take boot method 1. I will insert this in my VM. If you don't have a VM, just burn it on USB flash drive and boot from USB flash drive. If I start this, I will see the following. 
we will change this logo to understand just after some steps now I will get into Antec Windows Boot and I will be able to install you see there are so many languages I will just choose English because the ISO I used is English remember this info now I press English and next and install now now let's see I don't have product key and as you can see I am installing the windows that I modified I will choose pro and I will proceed with the steps but I don't need to do this now so this is method number one now let's move to method number two I will close this and close this I will delete the folder here because I messed up the files and I will extract again to try method number two I delete this and I will extract again I will show you what is this exactly in your ISO file where does this name appear now if I open this PC see this is the name we wrote here it is the name of your flash drive when you burn the ISO file on your USB flash drive now we need to try method number two method number two says copy the windows installed WRM or installed TSD to the boot ISO file so I will open this sources and I will find here install the WIM I will copy the file and it says to the Antec Windows Boot files so this is Antec Windows Boot files I will go to sources and I will paste it here now I am done now let's test this ISO go back and back and return to Win Tool Kit and insert Antec Windows Boot files not this we choose this and select folder you can leave the name of this right here same name and we will write here calls iso method 2 and remove the repelled image and press create iso now it's finished now let's test our iso which is method number two insert in the vm start the vm Now, as you can see, we are in Arctic Winds Boot. If I press English, press Next, Install Now. I don't have a product key. And as you can see, we are installing Windows 10, the ISO we used. So the first thing we need to do is hide all the other languages. If you choose a language that is not available on the ISO you used, you will get an error. So remember, you have to choose the right language always. We need to hide the other language. How do we do that? We will modify, we will modify this boot WIM. Now we are working on this folder. Remember, we are working on this folder. I will go to files and I will have one of the programs we need right click which is the ISM GUI right click run as administrator choose WIM file and we will choose boot.wim before we choose folder we need to create a folder for it we will create a new folder mount and we will choose this folder we will choose this folder mount press on it and press mount now we got our boot.wim mounted in the folder mount we'll open the folder and go to sources there's a file called lang.ini now we see here are all the language options we need to only leave the ones in our iso files how do we know which one we need now i will go back so this is the ISO file I am modifying. Remember this, this is the ISO file I am modifying. This is the ISO file I am modifying. I will go in this folder, sources. Now there's a file here called install.wim. You know this file, we already copied this before. Open archive and we will go into any one of these. Then go to windows and go to branding and go to base BRD and here we can see the language of this ISO file. Remember, the language of the ISO file, which is very important. Now, we will leave only the language that is here. We got EN, US, and there's no other language. We will remove everything else, and we are done. We can close this, we don't use this anymore. Go back in our mountain sources, and we are done. We press here and press save. If we open the file again, 
it has only en us en us now we will run a test now we need to dismount the wim file and press yes to commit the changes and we are done we will delete method 2 file because we will create it again now we go back to isomaker and press create it's finished let's boot the iso file we created which is method 2 remember we created method 2 we will run the vm So all the language disappeared and only ENUS available. Now you know how to hide all the other languages and leave only the language of the ISO file you are modifying. Let's move to changing the wallpaper. First, the wallpaper of the system. Then we will modify the wallpaper and the logo of the installation. We will close this and press once more, mount. Now you got with the files, we need to make it for Windows 10. So we go on files, Windows 10, Windows, Web, Wallpaper, Windows. Now we got an image, zero. We copy this, Control, right click, copy. Then we go back, Windows, Web, Wallpaper, Windows. So this is the wallpaper of Anchitech Windows Boot. Now we will paste, replace. You can replace the wallpaper with any other wallpaper. I'm just showing an example. We are done modifying the wallpaper. Now we go back. If we look in the VM, we will find the logo is Windows 11. We need to change this logo to Windows 10. We close this. We go into Files, Windows 10, Windows 10, Windows, Boot, Resources, Bootrace.dll. We copy the file, go back. We go into Mount, Windows, boot resources and here is the file you need to modify there's something you need to know that might have problems with you if you go into files we will find add take ownership registry file so just run this and press ok go mount windows boot resources if you have any issues with copying any files just press take ownership then paste replace and we are done we changed the logo the startup logo we go back now we will change the wallpaper which is inside sources this is the wallpaper of the installation now we need to change this wallpaper we will change it to windows 10 now if you go into files windows 10 sources you will find the files you need just copy go back go back go back mount sources if you have any problems, press right click, take ownership. If you also have any problems with boot, I'm saying again, press right click, take ownership. Now we go back to sources, paste, replace the files, and we are done. We go back, we press, dismount. Do you want to commit changes? Yes. We are done. We need to delete method two. We will create it again. But first, we need to do one more step, which is all-in-one integrator, and we will insert the boot.wim, which one we modified, and press on rebuild, and we are done, ISO maker, remove rebuild image, press create ISO. Okay, close, go back to the VM, method 2 run the vm as you can see windows 10 logo now we go inside as you can see windows 10 wallpaper and the installation has windows 10 logo if we press next install now we got windows 10 wallpaper and the additions so now we changed the logo wallpapers and everything is suited up for Windows 10. Now what if you want to change this wallpaper of the installation? How do you change it manually? Now we need to change the installer wallpaper. We press mount. Here we got a wallpaper.gpg. We press click right click and edit. Resize and write this resolution i 
and press OK. Now we got this wallpaper and of the right size, file, save as PMP Packager and we save it with the name background and we press save. Now we got our wallpaper ready. Now we need to modify the files. We go to mount, sources, we replace this wallpaper, replace, now we got this wallpaper. Now we need to modify one more file. We go back, back, files, resource hacker, back, mount, sources, SPW, IMG. We pull this file, put it in resource hacker, bitmap, and we go to the last one. We place, press right click, replace bitmap, open file, then we insert the background image we made. And press place. Now we press on this button. And we are done. You will find a file created with the name original. Delete this file, we don't need it. Then close resource hacker go back back dismount and press yes we are done we can delete method 2 we will create it again we need to rebuild close iso maker remove rebuild create iso and we are done we can open this Open this, choose file, and as you can see, the wallpaper of the installation changed. If you want to change the wallpaper of the system, you already know you just mount, mount, Windows, whip, wallpaper windows and this is the wallpaper of the system so now you know this wallpaper is is this file so you know how to change the wallpaper of the system how to change the wallpaper of the installation you know how to change this logo now you need to know one more thing the method and the steps apply to the three puts each one of them is different but they are both created the same way and the method and steps apply to all of them let's take a look at each one of them and see it. Here is super light. We have been using Anctec Windows Boot version 6. Now we will try Anctec Windows Boot super light. It has the same logo, the same wallpaper. Now we know how to change the wallpaper, how to change the wallpaper of the installation, how to change the logo. It looks exactly the same. The difference is in size. So you see, this is 200 megabytes. The full one is 342 and the light one is 282 the difference is in size and the number of programs there is less programs now let's take a look at the light as you can see this one has the windows 10 logo of course you know how to change the logo the wallpaper and the same wallpaper of the installation now you know how to change the wallpaper, the logos, and the language choices. Remember, you need the language choices to be correct. If you choose a language that is not in your ISO file that you are modifying, you will get an error. Remember that and don't forget. You can use the boot with the default wallpapers. If you don't want to change the wallpapers and logos, it works 100%. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy using Anctic Windows Boot. See you in the next video.